I have used a 6mm rod. You can use the rod size according to your need. I have centered it. And I will tight the bolt. Now I will assemble it on the holder stand rod. And I have tightened its bolt. Now I will screw the bolts of the clips. Now our helping hand has extended further. So let's check, has it improved for the bigger motherboard? I will hold the motherboard using the support of the capacitors. See, it is still wobbling. This means I will have to modify the base of the stand. I will use this piece of wood for it. I will put a helping hand on the top of the wood. Will it be okay? No, it will not. I have made a clip for holding the base of the helping hand. I have drilled two holes in the wood. And let's start fitting the base on the wood with the help of the clip. Now you can see due to the wood base. Now it will not wobble much while soldering. But it is still wobbling from this other corner. I will fix this other side of the motherboard too. Because if these capacitors would not have been installed in this motherboard, then holding this motherboard and soldering on it was difficult. Now I have arranged some parts for my helping hand tool. I will use these crocodile or alligator clips for it. It is readily available in the market. I will remove the plastic cover from the clip. The back side of these clips is empty. I will fill it up using a metal pin. I will place this tiny rod in this empty space of the clip. This way, it will have more strength. I will cramp the alligator pin from the corner to tighten the pin. I am using a plier to do it. As I have tightened it, it has become stronger. If I didn't do this, it would not have much strength. I will fit the clip in this cubic shape I made. Now I will tighten it with a screw. It has been tightened. And now it looks like a clamp. Now I am installing the bolt on the back side of the cubic shape. I have made the second clamp too.
The base and the second helping hand is ready. I will install the accessories on it. I made this another cubic shape using metal. I will install it on the stand. I have cut another rod for this helping hand. I will fit it too. Now I am installing the clip I made. Now two stands are ready. I will hold the circuit board using them both. But this time, I will hold the motherboard up. In the same way, I will attach this second holder. I will tighten the bolts. Now you can see it has no wobbling now. Now it will be more easier to do soldering on the circuit board using this helping hand. It can be adjusted according to your need. I can hold the motherboard in this way too. I hope you like this idea. If yes, then hit that like button. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.